Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Everywhere Communications YouTube channel. On this video, we'll be going through how to create new display groups. If you're looking for an overview on display groups in general, you can check out our last video regarding that. Uh, but let's go ahead and get started. So if we go to the left side of the screen, we're going to see multiple of our different colored display groups based on a color coordinated basis. If I wanted to create a new display group, I click the groups tab at the top and that's going to open up my window pane. From here to create a new display group, I'm going to click the plus bubble and then the pencil at the bottom. At this point, we're going to have to set a group name and a group type. For this group, I'm going to create a stream of my recent track points. So I'll call it Tim's recent track points. And then from here, I have to set my group type. I will cover heat maps in a video following after this. So if you are trying to see live location data or a breadcrumb trail, it's always going to be device tracks. As soon as I'm ready with my group name and my group type, I click accept. And from here, I have to select what devices I want to apply this display group to. So if I click the search tree at the end of this line, that's going to open up my team hierarchy structure. From here, if I drop down my arrows to the everywhere employees folder, I can now access my mini, which is my device and apply my display group to that device. This is now applied to Tim's mini. And if I go down to the parameters tab, you'll see that by default, this is always going to be showing me a live stream of the latest point for each device. To edit these parameters, I click the pencil at the end of the bar, and then I can now set different parameters based on points that I want to see, my time frame, or I could identify a point history and show me those. From here, I now can select show me the last however many points I want to see. So for this display group, I'll show my last 150 track points. I now have an option to limit my time frame. So I can set my parameters either on a basis of minutes, seconds, hours, days, weeks, and even months and years, or I can say nothing older than a certain date. I can even go as specific to select a certain date and time. For this display group, I will create a group that's showing me a live stream of my last 150 points on my device, but nothing older than October, let's go back to September, say September 23rd at 8 p.m. At this point now, I'll click update and save and close, and that display group will now be applied to my map. You can see here, Tim's recent track points, that's a brand new display group, and I have 150 track points here in the DMV area. And as I zoom down, we can actually see my commute to the office today. Now that I see my track points and my breadcrumb trails, you'll note that we have arrows pointing the exact direction in which we're heading. We have our lines connecting the dots on our breadcrumb trails. And if I select one of these data points, you're going to see the exact speed I was going. You'll see my exact course, heading, and altitude. We have a timestamp for exactly when that location point was recorded, as well as a, a lat long within three meters accuracy. On top of that, you'll always be able to see what source of information your data points are being tracked on. GPS is signifying cellular or Wi-Fi data points, but you will also be notified if you're communicating over the satellite network. Check out our last video on display groups for a broader overview, and we're going to have another video coming out here shortly for our heat map feature. As always, please subscribe to the channel, and we're excited to see you again. Thanks.